Hi, I'm Tukwazi from KJLXRadio.com. We are here with Tisha Pinachero from the LA Sparks. So now this is your 14th season playing for the WNBA. Now, how's that feel? I feel old. A lot <laughs> around all these girls, they're like 25, 24, and they complain about their age. I'm like, uh, I'm 10 years older than you, so I don't want to hear it. No, but it's been great. Just being a part of this league for 14 years now, uh, it's great. You know, it's like being a pioneer in women's basketball in the WNBA. It's, it's amazing. We have great role models for little girls, so I'm really, really excited to be a part of this. Yeah, because the league is going to its 15th year. And um, how have you seen the changes from when you started to now? Oh, amazing growth. Uh, every year the league gets more competitive, there's way better players, the teams get better, it's harder to win. So, I mean, to me, to compare from 97 to 98, like when I came in 98 to now, it's like 98. And of course, it's for the better, so I'm really, really blessed to be part of it. And now, what do you think the, the league itself is doing to bring um, more watchers, the fans, viewers, listeners to the, to the game? Well, we put a lot of you know, it's a great product that we put on the floor. So a lot of people that talk about bad about us or oh, I don't watch the WNBA, sometimes they never see us play. Right. You know, because we can play and you know, we play great, we play as a team. I mean of course we play under the rim. Right? You're not you're not gonna see any three sixty dunks or you know, behind the back dunks or anything like that, but uh, we play together as a team and we, we represent basketball well. So Sometimes I always just wish those people would give us a chance and come to the game. And right. if they're really true basketball fans, they will be addicted, and I'm pretty sure they will come back. So, but uh, we have a, a, a great concert with ESPN, so we are on TV, we are on radio, we go to the community, visit hospitals, schools, so we try to put the word out there, and we just ask for people to give us a chance. And now, um, you have your game coming up June 3rd, so that's a little over three weeks. How are you guys getting prepared for the game and then also for the championship? Well, this training camp has started, so we are in the gym from like 10 to 2, 10 to 3 sometimes, and we're just getting ready. Uh, it's great to have everybody. A lot of times the season starts earlier, so a lot of the players are still overseas, and this year from day one we have everybody here. Everybody's healthy, everybody is very excited about the season. So we're just absorbing everything from the coaches, you know, teaching the, the young ones the ropes, and uh, we're just trying to get on the same page, which, you know, the training camp is three weeks, so we don't have a whole lot of time. Right. So every day, every minute, it's important that uh, for us to, to continue to work to get the championship. Okay, so you had a little bit of problems with your Achilles last year, so everything is pretty clear. Yeah, I mean, I'm 36, so, you know, I have a little bumps and bruises you here and there. Good <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, I mean, it's just taking care of your body, being a professional, you know, getting your sleep, getting right, stretching, doing everything that you can to, little things. Yeah, to continue to play at the highest level. So, you know, I do my part and all my teammates do theirs. And as, as long as we, you know, stick together, a lot of things can happen and we can definitely win a championship. So there, there was a little bit of injuries um, amongst your team last year. Is everybody pretty much okay? Yeah, everybody look, looks really, really good. I mean, there's minor things that are normal when you, you play, you know, four hours, five hours a day, right. a little, you know, soreness or pull muscle or whatever, but nothing major. So, you know, Candace Park was one of our main players last year. She pretty much missed the whole season yeah, with a shoulder so injury. So she's been playing overseas. She looks great. Tina looks great. I mean, everybody looks great and healthy and excited. So we all excited. Okay. And now speaking of overseas, you originally are from Portugal. Um, and you played overseas in Portugal. Yeah. So now how was that compared to WNBA? It was different. Uh, it's a big difference uh, from the WNBA in any country in Europe, especially Portugal, where soccer is the main uh, sport. Basketball is not small. Right. But it, just, it was good to go back. There's a, I have a lot of fans there because it's a small country and I've accomplished so much in the world of basketball. So it was great just to give those people opportunity to watch me play live and I have to wait until like 3 or 4 in the morning to watch it through the computer. Right. And to be closer to my family. That was reason number one. I have a little nephew now that it's great just to see him grow every day and you know hear the new words that he says. So it was just great and um, I had a great time at home. And now, um, how does the fans compare to overseas here? Well, the gyms are way, way, way smaller. So, I mean, you might have a thousand people in a really small gym and it looks packed and right. then you come here and come to Staples and it's like, it looks, yeah, and sometimes it looks empty but you have 10,000 people there. So, I mean, it's, it's two different realities and what I do is I don't compare. I just adjust to the reality of USA, the reality of Italy, the reality of Russia.
rush it, and so I don't prepare, otherwise you will be mad. So now, 14 seasons, what's your game plan for the next season? As long as you're healthy, you keep playing, or what do you, what do you Well, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I know my career is coming to an end, and I'm at peace with what I've done, but of course you always want to do more, you want to accomplish more, and uh, I would love to win a championship. That would be like the icing on the cake, uh -huh. and I could go out in style. I don't know if this is my last season. I kind of just take it day by day, uh, but I definitely see the light at the end of the tunnel. I just don't know how long the tunnel is, so but I'm going to keep riding until I can. I know, the team, <laughs> the team is stacked to really key players, so I think this is This is Tukaze for KGLHradio.com and this is Tisha Penichero. Now this one.